The Waves instrument is basically a radio. It tunes to frequencies all the way from 50 hertz, which is near the bottom of the audio frequency range, up to above 40 megahertz, which is above uh, the limit of the uh, radio emissions that Jupiter generates. The WAVES instrument has two sensors. Uh, one is designed to measure the electric field component of these waves, and it looks like a pair of rabbit ear antennas that you might have had on a TV when you were a kid, except these are about 10 feet long. The other sensor is a much smaller device. It's about 10 inches long, and it's basically a coil of wire. It has about 10,000 turns on it, and it's designed to measure the magnetic fluctuations of waves. So these two sensors are used by the receivers to study the various phenomenon, uh, particularly in Jupiter's polar magnetosphere. For example, the maximum frequency of the radio emissions that we detect told us what the magnetic field strength was in the magnetosphere of Jupiter long before any spacecraft arrived. Juno was designed to actually go to another planet and uh, make the first measurements of an extraterrestrial auroral region in great detail. So I think we learn about ourselves by studying other environments in the universe.